pixels.cool. Welcome to you and welcome to Building Rapid E-Learning using Articulate RISE 360. In this series, we'll use RISE 360 to create a short piece of online learning content, often referred to as micro-learning, to bring our audience up to speed with what generative AI is and how to interact with ChatGPT. This is how some of our content looks towards the end of the series. RISE 360 provides a quick and easy way to create and publish online learning. The app is designed for rapid production and deployment using a set of templated blocks. For long-form projects, other tools such as Articulate Storyline may be more appropriate. Let's get started. Go to Articulate's website at this address and create a free trial account. You'll receive a 30-day free trial of the software as long as you haven't used one before. When you log in to Articulate 360, your main dashboard will look something like this. With example content on the left so you can see what's possible, information about the latest software updates on the right, and links to Articulate's own training resources towards the bottom right. Start by clicking on the RISE 360 tab. I have some existing content here where I've been testing the features we'll use in this series. Make sure the content tab is selected at the top left and click on the create new button. We're going to create a standalone piece of learning content over viewing generative AI. So click on micro learning. RISE 360 includes example templates you can start from. Spend a few minutes here looking at the examples in case there's something that may fit your own use case. To preview a template, just hover over it and click preview templates. For this series, I'll be building the micro learning from scratch. Click on blank micro learning. Notice that even the blank template includes a title ready to edit and this default background image. I'll start by editing the title to be an introduction to generative AI. As Rise is fully browser based, there's no need to save your work as you go. I can return to the dashboard at any time by clicking the waffle icon at the top left and the changes I just made have been saved to continue later. We're up and running. In the next explainer, I'll explore the content blocks available in RISE 360 and start adding text and images to the start of my micro learning. Pixels.cool